Hey everyone, and welcome back to Scrap Camp. We are finally in creative again. <clears throat> I've been focusing a lot on survival, just between getting vehicles ready, getting the base ready, resources, blah, blah. So I figured it'd be nice to take a little bit of a break and come back to creative. Um, the world that you would have seen during survival for my R&D, I guess, research and development. I've changed to a different one, and this is where we are. And I'm in this one because I don't want to use mods at the moment. I'm kind of doing survival stuff, but I'm just kind of messing around. So, um, I did a time lapse on a new resource trailer. <clears throat> Those of you that watch my survival series will know how much of a pain the normal design is. If I go like this, you can see how it's just a normal flatbed with the resource containers on the front, excuse me, and then a spot for the cutter on the back. A couple issues with that is one, it doesn't make very good use of space. And two, the resource bins are too high to um, pick up anything. So I have to fill up the truck and then swap it out, swap these ones out for one on the trailer, fill up the truck again, so on. So I've been trying to design a new resource trailer that can just be pulled along and load up resources as I drive, but also carry everything still. Um, <clears throat> one issue I'm having is height. With the length of the trailer on uneven ground, it bottoms out too easy. So I'm going to possibly try and figure out a lift mechanism just in case it gets stuck, just hit switch, lift the trailer up for a moment, continue. Um, and then someone suggested, I can't remember their name at the moment, but someone suggested instead of driving the truck around to pick up resources, use like uh, a bobcat kind of thing. And for a while I've been thinking of using a kind of bulldozer, or building a bulldozer of some kind. And even the original resource cart thingy that I built in the survival thing, I would back into things and just ram them where I wanted them to go so I could do whatever, like a bulldozer. So before jumping to that really quick, I'll show how much easier this is to load up. Just tilt the cutter up, uh, ignore the lag. <laughs> The wheels to sit in the thing. And then it sits right in the wedges, like so. You can drive around with it like that, no problem. The only thing I'll have to change if I do this is the um, the refinery area. I just have to lift the roof a little bit for the extra height there. But this gives me Let's say from here back for a bulldozer, a bobcat, something. But I'm also worried about lag <clears throat> because there is a lot already. So I might just make some kind of plow attachment for this because that wouldn't be too hard. And then I'll try and make a bulldozer. Set this up so I know the width that I have to work with if I want to keep it up here. But if I just do a small bobcat kind of thing, I could use the small tires and just park it on this platform here. So we'll see. Um, I'm only five minutes in, so I got lots of time. So let's start with some kind of blade for this because this has lots of adjustability. 
So if I I don't want to change well, I guess I have it saved, so I'll just use this one. So we cut this off. And then these bearings are the ones oh excuse me. That I can remove or that I'm comfortable removing. So if we do this and then go like so, I can then Yes, go like this. Go one within the wheels, I guess. And then I'll go full width and then forwards a little bit. Just like a little scoop kind of thing, I guess. Uh, no. Let's keep it flat for now. Flat blade. I should be doing this on a survival world, just using like a trainer or something for free parts. But to do that, you still have to obtain the pieces somehow. So that's a bit of a pain in the butt. But if I do this, I should be able to easily drive around, and then it wiggles back and forth. And then up and down. And then just adjust how far down it goes, I guess. And then literally just push things along the ground. Actually, you don't even really have to adjust it, just use these for steering. <laughs> but yeah. I can just create a little access panel here so that I can set how far of an angle it goes. And then I can use that to push all of the um, resources to the truck. And then when I don't need it, I can just quickly take it off, put it on the truck somewhere until it's needed. So let's do that. I'm going to replace that. There we go. Um, but a bobcat or a bulldozer kind of thing. This is the overall width I have to work with, but I don't necessarily want to use big ones. If I can, I would like to use little ones. Now, if I use a saddle. I can get proper width I want better because the saddle is three wide and my creations usually have a middle. So there's a middle there, middle there, and then symmetrical on either side. If you use this seat, excuse me, it's four wide. So it's kind of weird if you're doing a single seater. Um, <clears throat> bring up sides, yes, the motor. Do I want it electric or gas? Hmm. We'll do gas. Now? No, I want the torque for moving stuff, so I'm going to use electric. And then I can go right there with a battery container right on top. Fish. And this should provide. I'll go where I want. Probably hear my keyboard clacking away. <laughs> Either way, this will probably. Who will fit now? There we go. And that will provide a nice counterweight for whatever we put on 
Perfect. But I just need some kind of like blade or bucket or something. So I also need to figure out steering. Um a normal bobcat is actually called a skid steer. Bobcat is a brand name, I believe. Skid steer uses tank steering. The turn left, locks the left side, uh right wheel right ones go forwards. First um, to do that in this, I need two motors and logic and stuff. And if I do that without mods at the moment, I won't be able to go backwards. So adding a third motor and even more bearings. And I want to keep bearings to a minimum on this. So if I go like this. Put a bearing there, come down to here, bearing, and put one there. That should have just enough space to turn. Alright, so that looks kind of funny. Looks kind of cute. Um, so go on the other side. Same. I think I went that high. Yes. I don't need to go that high though. What am I doing? Oh, I do to clear the tire. Hold on. Do I? No, I can. And bring that down. See, this is <laughs> another reason I tend to not build on camera because my brain doesn't like to work all the time. Um, another thing you could do, just a quick mention, is to keep the wheels from going weird, towing out or in separately. You could use an elbow here and then just put a tie rod across. But for lag sake, I'm not adding any more bearings than I eat. Down and out. If I need to add some kind of suspension to this or flexibility, I will. But it should be okay for it now. I'll tape my wedge. Nope. And boop, oh, there we go. There we go, a little simple putt putt. Um, attach this to the wheels. There. Words. Oops. Where is it there? Oh, the back is. Set that up a little bit. In the seat. Backwards steering! And there we go. So a little bit more. So we have a little art thingy. Steering is still backwards. There we go. Oh, that wheel is spinning back. I didn't even realize. There we go. Alright, so you can see there's lots of weight in the back. Which is nice right now. I'm going to quickly design a little cage thingy. Oops. I can't wait for the new wedges. I love when it does that. When you get just the right angle that you can quickly just go up. Go the same windshield I use on everything. Bring it back. Attach it to the battery. Or not the battery, but the I guess you could consider that a battery. It's like a big battery holder and it's got terminals. So yeah, there we go. Now we've got our little cart thing. Um 
now for the actual blade thing. I'd like it to be quite adjustable. So, I'm going to put... Where should I put these? I don't want to... I can put them in the bottom. I'll put them in the bottom in a second. So, I want up and down, tilt, and then if I can get left and right with it being small and not too bad, I will, but I'm not too worried about it. So, to do that, if I come out there, no, okay, I'm going to put a bear in here, and a bear in here, out by one, put another bear, up, and over the wheel, to be honest, I should probably bring it from here more, but I can't stuff on the side of the seat, so it has to go there, I guess. Oh. If need be, I can always move, um, <clears throat> yeah, move this bar up so that it can lower more, but for now... I technically don't even need bearings on both sides. I only need bearings on one side and for it to be supported on the other. Or, yeah. Ah, words. They don't work in my brain because, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to have one main bearing side. Ooh, hold on. If I want that. Oh, I got an idea. Bearing. That. A bearing. And then we can go down. Oop, no, 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 no. Down like this. Okay. Up. Cross. down T so therefore it looks like it's just kind of made to be stronger because the middle part turns yes and then we come back I'm going to remove these bearings because this isn't going to be heavy it just has to push maybe drag a little bit and if this has any issues I can put one of the bigger pipes in here and it'll fill the space a little bit better and hold it in place better. All right, so we have our little front part, our main little arc. Now, so we have like a main height, which is adjusted here between this and this one. You go up and then lean it forwards and that can lean or lift the whole bucket up. I'm just hoping it doesn't hit here too much. I might need to redesign this part, maybe move it back a little bit. Um, or as I said, just move the whole arm up. But either way, um, we have tilt there, tilt there, and then I'm going to add left and right, and hopefully it doesn't make it lag too much. For this, this, and then it has a bit more action. Actually, I can just do that there, and it should be fine. Okay, um, <clears throat> now, because of this part, if I just put a 
play directly on it, it will bind when I rotate it up from there. Unless that. That's going the wrong way. Is that? Because bucket. And then we use longer ones on the bottom. <clears throat> and it's not necessarily a bucket, it's more of a plow. But yeah, that's what I've got so far. Um, actually, why don't I put these on the side? So, oh, excuse me again. Um, wait, I'm going to start them from here. Have them um, angled in at the front. Okay. This one will be up and down. And then we'll go oh, what? Uh, we'll see. Um okay. let's do just fifteen degrees per minute. One needs to go the other way. So one I want to be sit down. So that's the wrong way. There we go. And as you can see, that was in the way. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, and so. And these connect to here. It's this one preliminarily. And then... Boom. That will be... Tilt. That should go down. Alright, so these both go down, and then these both will go up. Okay. Now left and right. Let's up a tiny bit, and angle them out. Oh, jump! Six, next, next, okay, and that way. This one should go left. Yep. That one goes right. Okay, so, oopsies. Now we need to focus on the bucket. Part I can just kind of do that for now. I don't care. <laughs> but, um, bucket. One, three, and five. Lift it back up. <clears throat> uh, I guess if I keep it at ground level on the bottom. And I'm normally driving. Actually, you know what? 
Oh, I can't do that with those. I was going to space them out, but I can't on the top of them. Okay, so with this, it works okay for just pushing button. And then, ooh, that's still going the wrong way. Oops, this. All right, so that should, yeah, lift up and up. But if we go like this, and I do the front properly, it lifts it up a little bit. And then if we do one and four, it should lower it. Do I have the angles wrong? 15, 15, 15, 15, or 15. Hey, okay, now it just. Oh, it probably looks weird because it's being stopped by the wheels. So. I'm going to. Move the whole thing up, I guess. Um. I have to re. Do all of that. What is holding that on? Nothing. Okay, so if I move this to. <laughs> I remember everything I need. Move this up here. Which I can't because of that. There we go. I guess with it this way, being a little bit higher. Ah, crap. Okay. Up, down. Up, down. Left. Right. <clears throat> okay. Um, down. I forgot to set things again. So that should both be going down. Shouldn't be 30. No, not 30. Okay, so those are both angling down. If I go in three and four. Oh no, it's still it's ever so slightly. Three and four should go like that. And then five should go left. Six goes right. Cool. Okay, so. So, this wheel's going backwards too, still. Okay, there we go. Good to know. And we've got our little tiny bobcat kind of thing, I guess. And the point in this is so that I can just park the truck and push all the stuff to it. And I think this will work. But I'm worried about the lag. And this thing kind of handles funny, so I might... I'm gonna put an engine on it. Let's see how that works. Worried there as the, uh, gauge fell off. Huh. Oh. See how this goes. Weld this back on. need a chop top. Um, do the front wheels and sit. Two to see. Okay, 
Whoa, that's a lot faster. These wheels are fine. Just this one. Oh, is that one backwards? It is. Well then, okay. So this thing is so light that it needs like no power at all. And I want to make sure it can climb on top of the trailer. We do two and four, get that well out of the way. Yeah, see? Come on. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. And... I guess I could just weld it on there, but that's not as fun. Is there a way I can kind of... make this a better spoke? If I make the bobcat heavier, it'll work better too. But... If I make this narrower. Oh, in the seat. Try to carefully. I'm up. Ah. Come on. I could make this longer. But... Ooh, 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 hold on. Why am I doing it like this? That one too. There we go. Ah. Come on. Almost. So it's doable. I just need some more weight on the front. Which is very easy to do. As long as I'm careful. There we go. Now we've got more weight on the front. It should handle better and everything. So let's try this again. Run four, lift it up out of the way. Let's see if it'll climb up this time. No. Okay, lower it back down. Still doesn't want to climb up. Ah, come on. Okay, you know what? Let's just make it a little less steep. 10 degrees? As I already have to lift the roof of the refinery anyways. So if I do this... Both can... Okay. I'll probably switch this back to electric. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. Because I don't like how happy that is. Just too fast. There. Don't need to hook that up to anything. Do I? Oh, right. I took the thing out. Uh, why must you do that to me, Bray? Let's go that way. Just up by two. There we go. So slow now. Let's try that. Here we go. Alright, it up again. Well, I guess I don't need to leave it back this time. 
up to here. And there we go. That is much better. And then I can literally just park it right here. I need to figure out a good way to keep it in place. But it shouldn't add too much lag. And another thing is it's not going to push much at once. Like, I'm pretty much going to have to just bunch everything up in front of it. So, we'll see really quick. Um, let's get that put on. Yeah, you can already see the difference in lag. But we'll put that on, and then we will load this on. And see what the lag is like. <laughs> um, right now we're... Hovering around 50, everything loaded in isn't helping. But, either way, let's load this on. Go. This is the worst of the lag, probably. I think I have it set to a slower speed in survival, so it won't be as hard to put on. That stays like that. Shouldn't really go anywhere. Take that off now. And then this thing goes on. But back. Actually, you know what I should be doing? Oh, really? Okay. Survival physics or something else. I'm down to 10 FPS, 9. So... Driving around with this thing on here. Is not going to be fun. In the slightest bit. Even deleting those is a bit of a pain right now. Ready? Here we go. Actually, I'm sure there are blocks there. Let's jump in the truck and see how laggy this is, and if it even really stays on. That is there anything dragging? Stand. Legs, whatever. The door is stuck, because why wouldn't it be? So as we're moving, I'm 10 to 12 FPS. My computer does not like this at all. Um, But if I can deal with the lag, this would work. And I could put a bigger blade on that. Definitely wider. So I might as well. And to be honest, yes, lag sucks. Any lag sucks. But in reality, driving to where I need to get resources, other than it'll take longer. It's not horrible. And like, they're not even welded to it, they're just kind of sitting on it. If I go like this... Uh, oh. Bring this back at that height. It will keep the trailer in. Or the, yeah, that thing in. Um, see how wide it can be. Uh, 
this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. So let's go two more on either side. And that should be six. That's lots of front weight, which is kind of nice on something like this. At least in my opinion, my experience. This should still fit. Ooh, I want us to do stoppies now. <laughs> should just crawl right up. Bucket should sit right if i can get it two it's even i want it go in is it even yeah Oh, wrong button. It's too high. <laughs> I'll angle it so it'll go. Um, it fall in there somehow. Some point. I don't know. Either way, it now goes on the back. Ah, there we go. So with a little finagling, get that locked in like so. Put the back up, and now that's not going anywhere. Awesome. So, I can make this a two-fold ramp, so it's not as high, if need be. Or, configure something out, but this, I guess, is like the overall potential new design for getting resources in survival, or our survival playthrough. Just gonna load everything back up and drive back over to the refinery. Oops. It's kind of stuck on something. Another thing is the survival version of this truck, it took that barrier. So I should do that really. I'll put this over here. If I weld tab there should go to do that without oh, any issues. Awesome. Okay, the legs are down, so it shouldn't move too much. Ramp down this thing up first. Easy. Slide it in place from there. Grab this little weird thingy. Turn it up also. Okay. On to the trailer. Try and line it up the best I can. And mess up anyways. We've got six. <laughs> I'm normally a lot better at this. The lag doesn't help. There we go, looks like it's in. That'll strain itself out. that and we're at 10 fps again but everything is loaded up and then head off to base i'm just glad it works park the truck nearby cut down whatever destroy whatever rocks blah 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 
push everything to the trailer, and I could see that being decent, that pushing everything to the trailer. And then load everything up and drive back. I'll have to redesign the shop, like I said. But not by much. And if I can figure out the lag, as I could I could simplify the front suspension. Let's try that really quick. Just a quick experiment, because why not? To be honest, I'm getting slightly nauseous, so I'm going to stop recording soon. Ah, oh, crap, that's the wheel I need. Dude, I'm going to take a drink really, really quick, so find me. Okay. So, I'm going to swap this out for stick suspension. Or, that goes there. Pipe, bearing, and another pipe for bear. And that's it. Nothing cool, nothing special. It bums me out. This suspension makes me sad. It's a sad turbo. But it is simple. Like, look at that. That is so much more cool. Alrighty, so if we bring this over here again. Don't mind me. It's up here. Wheels back on. Power back to, um, steering. Oh, crap. It's all squishy fire. Can't reach the spring. Wow, okay, that's level five. Or, not level five, but a bunch of clicks up. Okay, that should be roughly how it needs to be. And of course the steering is backwards. Okay, there we go. It's the door. Mode ends up again. Now, I was getting around 10 FPS before. I'm literally grabbing at straws right now for FPS. I removed two bearings. And actually, that did help. I'm at 18, 16. That actually, no, I'm around 15 FPS. Yeah. Okay, so with the normal design, I'm at 15 FPS. So I'm gaining about two just removing those two bearings. So if you think about it, it's almost one FPS per bearing that is active. Which is crazy. Right, now I'm down to 12. So yeah, I gained about two FPS by putting little twigs on the front of my transport truck. That can just stay like that. As long as that closes, it can stay. Cool, good enough. So, we are only at 13. So yes, I gained a couple frames by removing that bearing, putting sticks on the front. Um, so I'm probably going to end up doing that in survival. How else could I save some lag? I technically don't need these ones, but everything I built has to flex, so. <laughs> yeah. I also need to figure out... Well, the weight's not really going to be an issue because it's being mainly added to the trailer. And then if need be, I can 
park that back further and it'll put more weight on the trailer instead of the truck. Um, just delete this thing. It's definitely not needed anymore. So yeah, um, this also has two barriers. We're now up to 14. Um, technically don't need so many wheels, but I like spacing out the weight on something so big. You should. Um, this only has two bearings, and that's what you need for a fifth wheel, up to pivot points like that. I'm definitely not going to put the chassis pivot in like I wanted to. Did I save that? I don't think I saved that. I was messing around with a version of this where there's an older version of it. <laughs> it became that. But I was messing around with a version where it could twist in the middle. Um, just for articulation. But I don't really know where else to get rid of lag. <laughs> the vanilla one might have a sim little bit simpler lighting system on it, but not by much. I could technically take the doors off, but you need doors. I don't want to literally have... Getting in like this isn't proper, and neither is getting out like that. I don't like that. Um, I could probably figure out something with the legs, but I don't know. If anyone can think of a good way to reduce the lag with this, I would be greatly appreciative. <laughs> Another slight issue that I had with the trailer is it's three blocks longer than those ones. So, once again, probably have to adjust things in here. I definitely, definitely need to lift the roof or change tailgate. Because that's going to hit, I know it. If it doesn't, I'll be surprised. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it hits. So... Yeah. I'll have to redesign this a little bit. In the survival one, I'll probably just chop the roof off, park the truck in, and then build a roof over it. Um, as for moving the refiners, it's just going to take some more glass for tubes. I don't have to move the two on the front, but I'll have to move the refiners for the trailer back a little bit. But it should make it look better, look cleaner. Um, I won't have to have the chest kind of hidden under it. I can just have the refiners right on the ground. So... It'll save some wood, too. It'll call for a bit of a redesign, as the other things still need to have higher platforms. So if you watch my survival videos, you picture where the other trailer is back in, and then you've got the refinery over here. I'll probably get rid of the raised flooring around the refinery, and then just have stairs going up to the other section. But for now, To be honest, this video is probably going to come out after I attempt to start doing this on survival, but oh well. <laughs> um, if you're still watching, if you have any advice, let me know. Any questions, feel free to ask. Um, if you'd like access to my blueprints, my survival world, so on, stuff for other games, become a Patreon. One dollar a month, get access to a bunch of different stuff for games that I built. Tunes for Beam, stuff on this, other stuff I work on as I work on it and add it. Um, what else? I also have a Discord server. So, over there if you want to check it out. And, yeah, I don't really know what to say. So, I hope to see you in the survival videos. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.